So let's look at how to plot this on a Cartesian plane. So we are given x plus 4y greater than 8. Now the first thing to do, as usual, is to rewrite this in equation form. After doing that, the next thing to do is to get the intercept for x and y. So let's get the intercept for x. So when y is 0, if y is 0 here, x will be equal to 8. And then if when x is equal to 0, if x is 0 here, y will be equal to 2. So I've gotten the two intercepts. Now I've gotten my intercept for um, x equal to 8 and y equal to 2. So these two intercepts are what I'm going to use to plot this graph. So let's go. We're going to have a graph for x equal to 8. So let me do something here. Let me assume this is my 8 here. And then my y is 2. Let me assume here is my y equal to 2. Okay? So next, you check your inequality here is what? Is greater than. Greater than, we're going to use a broken line to join the two points. Remember, you use your ruler to do that, not your free hand. Okay, so I'm joining these two points where y is 2. Remember that this is my y axis. And, and sorry, x is 8 here. Yeah, so this is my x axis and y is 2. So after doing that, next thing to do is to test your validity, to check if this inequality is valid. How do you do that? Just put where x is 0, y is 0, which means we are using the origin, okay? This origin here, this, this is our origin. So where x is 0, y is 0, put it here. So if x is 0, y is 0, this whole inequality here becomes what? 0 is greater than 8. Now, you ask yourself, is 0 actually greater than 8? No. So this thing is not valid. It is not valid. So anytime it is not valid, it means that the points or the areas that contains this origin will be rejected. You see, this is the opposite of what we did in our first example. In our first example is that since it is valid, the points towards this origin will be accepted. But here now, it is not valid. So any region towards this origin will be rejected. So we are going to shade this region to show that it's being rejected. And then this other part is the acceptable region. And so this is how to plot the graph. I hope you've gained value here. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.